In this session, you will be introduced to the sphere standards. A set of guidelines have been developed to guide decision makers on key issues to consider in responding to disaster situations. Sphere is basically three things. It's a handbook, it's a process of collaboration, and an expression of commitment to quality, accountability, and human rights for people involved in disaster situations. The rationale of the SPHERE project is that it is an international collaboration for consensus involving standards for disaster response, a process to create a common language leading to transparency, accountability, and increased quality, a drive to improve quality and accountability in disaster situations. The Sphere Manual is laid out in chapters. Each chapter covers a key area for consideration in disaster management. And it includes minimum standards, key indicators for those standards, and guidance notes on what to consider in preparing to meet these standards. Please acquire a copy of the Sphere Manual. The minimum standards section shows the minimum requirements for the particular area of consideration. The key indicators act as signals that determine whether or not a standard has been attained. And the guidance notes are guidance notes for implementers and provide additional implementation that is useful for actual implementation of the standards. These are the contents of the Sphere Manual. It begins with a humanitarian charter. It shows the common standards, that is, standards common to all disasters. And in our setting, we've adjusted it to mean standards for response management. And underneath this, it shows standards for water supply and sanitation, food security, nutrition and food aid, shelter and settlement management and non-food items, and the management of health services in the disaster situation. These standards are mainly applicable for disasters that result in mass displacement of people, with people living in camps, and they need assistance in these various areas. But excerpts of these, these, of these standards can be used for, can be extracted and used for smaller scale disaster situations, provided they involve displacement or resettlement of people. Standards are given for response mechanisms common to all disasters, that is response management, water supply, sanitation and hygiene, food security, nutrition and food aid, shelter, settlement and non-food items, and health services. The standards also include appendices on water supply, sanitation, emission needs assessment checklist is provided there, planning guidelines for minimum water quantities for institutions and other uses, an appendix is provided, water and excreta related diseases and transmission mechanisms, an appendix is provided, and the standards also give references. Examples. If you have a copy of the manual, check for the standards. What is the minimum recommended standard on the amount of water required per individual per day? How much of this water is required for drinking? What is the standard for quantity of drinking water? What is the standard for sanitation facilities? What is the standard for water standpipes? What is the standard for distance to a water source among displaced populations? Water and sanitation, an average of 15 liters of water for use per day per person and includes 2.5 to 3 liters for drinking and food. 
on water quality, the standards specify that the water should have no fecal coliforms in every 100 mils. Other issues, standards are provided for excreta disposal, a maximum of 20 people per latrine. Involvement of the people in planning the sanitation resources, 250 people per standpipe, and the distance from the dwellings to the water standpipe should be less than 500 meters. Other examples refer to your sphere standards manual with regard to food and nutrition. 2,100 kilocalories per person per day recommended. With regard to cereals, we need about 14 kilograms per person per month. Pulses, that is issues like beans, peas, about 2.4 kilograms per person per month. Oil, 0 0.8 kilograms per person per month. And the Koya Son blend, about 1.6 kilo per person per month. Remember the vulnerable people. This is an example of a planned shelter as a standard. In summary, Sphere is based on qualitative and quantitative standards. The standards are universal in nature. The standards are a summary of five capabilities that are important in the management of disasters that involve mass displacement of people. These include general response management or standards common to all disasters, shelter, provisions for water and sanitation, provisions for health, and provisions for food and nutrition.